I've been working on a few projects recently which require an internet connection and I've decided, at least at this stage, to use one of these uh, Ethernet modules. They cost around a pound and it's the ENC28J60. That's the actual uh, number of the, the chip on here but um, the kind of module is tends to be referred to that and basically it's packaged up with an SPI interface and it gives you um, all the kind of low level stuff and it's a really kind of easy way of adding a very reliable connection. Obviously the Ethernet um, not potentially as good as Wi-Fi but one benefit is it is kind of guaranteed to work, there's no configuration so this is the route I've gone down. And so I've been, uh, so that hooks in to a, um, an Arduino in this case here. But the, the problem I've come across is that the software library required to run this uh, takes up around 20, 25K of memory. And on the 328P chip, the standard Arduino chip, um, there's only about 32. Uh, so it doesn't leave room for much else to go on. So I've started, um, I put together this, um, and this is basically a serial to ethernet adapter, as it were. You, every time you send a serial command into the Arduino, it turns that into a post request, sends it off to a server, does whatever it needs to do. That post re response then gets relayed out of the serial port. And so it can be used for relaying and sending data to a, a remote system, or it can be used for fetching data and just kind of making a request to get data in. And so it's, uh, it's, it's fairly generic. I've used this, uh, at least in its prototype form, for two projects so far, and it works pretty well. Um, this version here is using this uh, kind of quick kind of uh, test board I put together. And this is for the, the Shenzhen trip with dangerous prototypes. They supplied a board, and this one went in. And it came back, and it, it's pretty good. Uh, one mistake it does its job. But I just kind of came up with a slightly different design. Um, I more optimised one just for this purpose. This is the one here. This came back a couple of days ago. It's less than two weeks turnaround time, and only 80 pence. One of these boards. It's a fantastic kind of value. The it's roughly exactly the same thing, um, just with uh, no mistake with the serial line. And I've got a dedicated header for this. I was originally going to use a um, cable hook between the two, but um, I ended up soldering it in just for convenience. And I quite like this way of doing things. So it does exactly the same thing. And I've just switched out one of the projects with this version of the board, and it works just as reliably. But I've been working on revision uh, two for this today. I'm about to get it sent off, but it's basically reduced the size from that down to this. Um, it's all kind of compacted onto the board and it's designed to fit over like so. So it uh, kind of clips on the back of the board as it were. And that uh, should kind of give me a really nice simple little module. I think this can be probably optimised further but I'm going to almost certainly send it off as it is and maybe treat that as a version 3. But. Um, it's so far turned out to be quite useful this and to hopefully at least have a, a nice kind of um, part ready kind of uh, in my arsenal for future projects. I am currently working on a, uh, a Wi-Fi version. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, one here, a Wi-Fi version. It's using the uh, CC3000, I think it is, um, from TI chip and that's on an Adafruit breakout board. And so most likely, if I carry on with this route, to use one of um, uh, design a similar board which interfaces with this. Um, the only reluctance I've had so far is that these boards here are about 30 quid, really expensive. Um, and a Wi-Fi connection is potentially not as reliable. Ethernet is so much easier in this regard, simply because it, you just plug it in, it'll work. And um, the total kind of part cost for this uh, section here, this entire piece, is less than three pounds. Um, so it, it's so cheap in comparison to one of these. But with any luck, in a couple of weeks, I will have the uh, new boards through, and we can see how that well that works.